Seventh grade illustrative mathematics, unit seven, lesson 15, distinguishing volume and surface area. Problem number one, here is the base of a prism. A, if the height of the prism is five centimeters, what is its surface area? What is its volume? Here's a three-dimensional model of what the prism might look like with a height of five centimeters. To find the surface area of this base, you'd multiply 8 times 5, which would get you 40 centimeters squared. Next, we need to subtract this small section that's 2 by 2. 2 times 2 is 4 centimeters squared. So 40 centimeters squared minus 4 centimeters squared gives us 36 centimeters squared for each of the two bases. For these two sides, the area would be 5 times 5, or 25 centimeters squared. The area of this side would be 8 times 5, or 40 centimeters squared. The area for these two sides would be 3 times 5, or 15 centimeters squared. The surface area for these three sides would be 2 times 5, or 10 centimeters squared. Now to find the total surface area for the entire prism, we have to add up all the surface areas for each of the sides and bases. 50 plus 40 plus 30 plus 30 plus 72. So the surface area for the entire prism is 222 centimeters squared. Next we need to find the volume. 5 times 5 times 8 equals 200 centimeters cubed. And we need to subtract 2 times 2 times 5, or subtract 20 centimeters cubed. The volume of this prism is 180 centimeters cubed. B. If the height of the prism is 10 centimeters, what is its surface area? What is its volume? I know that the volume is going to double because the height doubled. So the volume would be 360 centimeters cubed. Now let's find the surface area. Let's take the information from the first problem and substitute the height with a 10. The base that I have pictured at the bottom would remain unchanged. And remember there's two bases, a top and a bottom. The way the base is pictured right now, it's laying on one of its sides. So remember, if it were standing on its base, the height is doubled, changing from 5 centimeters to 10 centimeters in height. The surface area of the bases is unchanged, and we can add all the surface areas together, making the surface area of this new base 372 centimeters squared. C. When the height doubled, what was the percent increase for the surface area? for the volume. The larger surface area minus the smaller surface area will equal the increase. 372 minus 222 is 150. They're asking what was the percent increase. We need to figure out what percent 150 is of 222. You can do that by dividing. 150 divided by 222 shows that 150 is approximately 67.6% of 222. That was the percent increase for the surface area. Now we need to find the percent of increase for the volume. 360 minus 180 equals 180. So 180 divided by 180 shows that the percent of increase was 100%. Problem number two, select all the solutions where knowing the volume of an object would be more useful than knowing its surface area. I wouldn't choose A because determining the amount of paint needed to paint a barn has to do with the surface area of the barn. I would choose B because determining the monetary value of a piece of gold jewelry has to do with the volume of the gold jewelry. I would also select C because filling an aquarium with buckets of water has to do with the volume of the aquarium. I would not select D because deciding how much wrapping paper a gift will need has to do with the surface area of the gift. I would select situation E because packing a box with watermelons for shipping has to do with the volume of the box. 
I would not select situation F because charging a company for ad space on your race car has to do with the amount of surface area the ad takes up on the race car. And I would select situation G because measuring the amount of gasoline left in the tank of a tractor has to do with the volume of the gas tank of the tractor. Number 3. Han draws a triangle with a 50 degree angle, a 40 degree angle, and a side length of 4 centimeters as shown. Can you draw a different triangle with the same conditions? Sure. Here's a triangle with a 50 degree angle, a 40 degree angle, and a side length of 4 centimeters. Problem number 4. Angle H is half as large as angle J. Angle J is one fourth as large as angle K. Angle K has measure 240 degrees. What is the measure of angle H? The information tells us that angle J is one fourth of angle K or one fourth of 240 degrees. 240 divided by 4 is 60. So angle J is 60 degrees. It also tells us that angle H is half as large as angle J. So half of 60 degrees is 30 degrees. Angle H is 30 degrees. Problem number five. The Colorado state flag consists of three horizontal stripes of equal height. The side lengths of the flag are in the ratio two to three. The diameter of the gold colored disc is equal to the height of the center stripe. What percentage of the flag is gold? The information tells us that the side lengths of the flag are in the ratio two to three, which is the same as three to 4.5 which means I can use the height as 3 units and the width as 4.5 units. This will help me find the area, 3 times 4.5. The area of the flag is 13.5 units squared. The information tells us that the gold colored disc is equal to the height of the center stripe, and we know that the center stripe is 1 unit tall. The area of the gold circle is pi, times r squared, the radius is half the diameter. If the diameter is 1, then the radius is half, or 0 0.5. 0 0.5 squared, or 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, is 0 0.25. We can use 3.14 for pi, and pi times 0 0.25 is approximately 0 0.786. So that means that the area of the gold colored disc is approximately 0.786 units squared. We need to find out what percentage of the flag is gold, or what percent of 13.5 units squared is 0.786. We can do that by dividing. 0.786 divided by 13.5 is approximately 0.0582, which is approximately 5.82%. That means that the gold colored disc is approximately 5.82% of the surface area of the flag.